the class of 1999 is a Chinese proverb. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Our first speaker will be Garrett Thomas. In my eyes, time has flashed forward extremely fast. It seems that only yesterday I was born. If only I knew what was to come from taking my first steps in life. Our first words spoken. It is the beginning of an amazing feat. The English language, while only containing 26 characters, has tens of thousands of words in it, with new ones being added continuously. Of all worldly languages, it is one of the most difficult to learn, especially as a second language. And, while it is not considered it, just to know 6,000 words is amazing. I remember once, when I was barely a year old, if that, my great aunt Jane fell over at a party in the room I was in. It was just her and me there. I was in my crib. I asked her, are you all right? <laughs> she was quite startled. As you can see, just speaking is a feat of its own. For years, nine years, we have been learning how to succeed, how to add, subtract, multiply, how to spell, read, write, how to speak, think, <coughs> listen. We learn of historical events, of great discoveries, of huge tragedies, of world religions, of universal bodies. A teacher packs all of this into a vast object, so far always expanding, almost impossible to explore, yet so vital to life. This object is our minds. We all have a mind with which to think, and what we learned yesterday influences our minds of today so that we can be the people of tomorrow. In less than a year, we will enter Y2K, the year 2000, the new millennium. Technology is forever advancing. Our world is changing dramatically. Less than 100 years ago, the average person was still riding in a horse-drawn carriage. Now, we're flying to Hawaii in five hours from San Francisco. What's next? There's the possibility of living on space stations as a permanent home. Maybe even other planets. Maybe we could genetically engineer the society of tomorrow to be perfect and flawless. Perhaps time travel could become a reality. But this is in our own hands. It's up to us to do it. As we mature, more and more of us receive recognition. Winning the science fair, the geography bee, student awards, and other contests that allow our creativity to soar past the sun. Many have now even received scholarships for our schools next year. The memories which I have recounted will be cherished. Hopefully, our friendships won't end. We have, um, as we leave this school, we depart into the future with a truckload of information. We have finally traveled 1,000 miles since our first steps, and we are about to travel 1,000 more. It's time to take another step. <laughs> 